friends welcome back to my youtube channel unlock your learning in this video we are going to solve icc maths today class 7 chapter 10 linear inequalities exercise 10 c question number 2 so friends without wasting any time let's get started this question is solve the following inequalities and draw the solution set on a number line now inequalities are given we have to solve them so first you read the first inequality here x plus 3 is greater than 8 so let us get a uh, get go ahead and solve this one all right this is our inequality so this plus 3 will come to this side so we have x is greater than 8 minus 3 so x is greater than 5 this inequality we have solved now we have to write the solution uh, solution set what is that uh, basically it is a set in which we write what in which we write the values of x so let us write first of all we open the curly brackets up and here you see this one thing is given x belongs to whole numbers this means to us that value of x can be whole numbers only and whole numbers are those numbers which start from 0 and go till infinity right to in the positive direction now you mean over here see if you have to write you see x is greater than 5 now how to write the value of x in this so basically all the numbers which have value more than 5 can be the value of this x so you start writing we have 6 7 8 and dot dot and you close this this dot is very important here because this is indicating that the numbers go till infinity why because we still don't have the greatest number we don't know the greatest number so it goes on till infinity now what we have to do is represent this on the number line that is by making the number line and now you see in this uh, over here you can see this numbers which have the value of x in them and these numbers are written in the solution set so we simply go ahead and circle them 6 7 and 8 are those numbers so we make a circle on top of them and this circle has to be filled or shaded and you make it on all three of them right and then this is done and when this is done we draw the dots and again they indicate the same as they indicated over here in the solution set that it goes on further all right and this is how we have solved the first part let's move on to the next part now this part is 2 in brackets 3 x minus 1 is less than or equal to 16 given that x belongs to natural numbers right so again we start writing so this thing in the bracket you see outside the bracket we have a number written here so the numbers inside the bracket this much will get multiplied by this number all right so you do that 3 into 2x that is 6x and uh, sorry 3x into 2 is 6x and minus 1 into 2 is 2 this is less than or equal to 16 and this minus 2 gets taken to this side right so 6x is less than or equal to 16 this minus 2 taken to this side will be plus 2 so uh, 16 plus 2 so you have 6x is less than or equal to 18 and x is equal uh, is less than or equal to 18 upon 6 because 6 here is multiplying here it will divide x is less than or equal to 3 right this is the solution and now we write the value that is the solution set so for the solution set only three numbers can be written here and what are those three numbers 1 2 and 3 no need to write the dots even why we are writing 1 2 and 3 only in the solution set because this tells us that you can see value of x has to be less than 3 or equal to 3 so it can be anything which is less than 3 or 3 now you will ask why have i not written 0 minus 1 minus 2 so because x belongs to natural numbers and that starts from 1 only so we cannot go any further beyond so 1 2 3 just that simple now we make the number line here and very simple we just circle them up here <laughs> like this all right and this is how we have solved the third inequality let's move on to the fourth inequality. and now on to the fourth part here this is 3x is less than or equal to 6 x belongs to integers so uh, 3x 
is less than or equal to 6 this gets solved like x is less than or equal to 6 upon 3 so x is less than or equal to 2 basically right this is the solution of our inequality now you see that this is telling us that value of x has to be less than 2 but here also i forgot to write this less than or equal to 2 so you uh, write the solution set in the curly brackets so we you can start from any ne uh, negative number why so because here x belongs to z this z is integers right z or i means integers n means natural numbers as we know r means real numbers w means whole numbers now in this you start from any integer up to you i will start from minus 2 minus 1 0 1 and 2 and you close the set just that simple now we will make the number line so friends also make these dot dots these dots after minus 2 because they indicate this goes further on here also in this number line make these dots and then you can circle all of these which you have made in the number line like this all right and these dots are important and this is how we have solved this exercise and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon down below so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video also leave a like on this video till then stay home stay safe wear a mask maintain social distancing and take good care of yourself bye bye